Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're hopping into the next episode of New Girl. This is season one, episode 12, titled The Landlord. So last time on New Girl was Jess and Julia. We kind of like dove in a little bit into how Julia kind of fits in with the group, which was kind of weird because she kind of didn't really gel or mix with Jess very well. And it wasn't great. I, I like Jess. She's, she's such a delicate flower. But the fact that Julia is just kind of, mm, you know, and wasn't really having much of Jess's, you know, desserts or any of her whatever, breaking for birds or whatever the fuck she, the whole case was about. Um, but I, I don't know. I like Lizzie Kaplan. I like the idea of her having anger management issues and her kind of being paired with Nick because it's such a contrasting type of a situation between them. And then you kind of had uh, Jess and added to the mix and Julia kind of thinks Jess likes Nick, which is technically true. I mean, we can see that. It's not a secret, you know? So um, with this one, the landlord, I don't know. Are we going to continue on with, with, with the Jess and Julia stuff or whatever? But they're, Julia and Nick are boyfriend girlfriend now so maybe julia will be in this maybe not cc needs a more prominent role in the show i feel like uh there hasn't been enough of her recently which is okay but you know we'll see what happens with that winston kind of has like his eyes on this girl who he had like a booty call or fling with for two years and he was gone for two years and now he kind of wants to make it up and take her out on a date or something it's whatever but, yeah, let's just hop in, have a good time. But before I do, I want to remind you guys, if you guys want to skip the YouTube highlights, hop on over to Patreon. There you'll find the full-length, uncut, unedited reactions, as well as early access to everything else you see here on the channel, as well as exclusive reactions. So if any of that interests you, hop on over to Patreon. If you can't support me over there, you can always support me right here on YouTube. All you got to do is like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. Now let's stop talking, hop in, have a good time, sketch afterwards. All right, guys, here we go. Nick, maybe he's a really nice guy. He's just having a bad day. I don't care if he's a nice guy. Come on, guy, dude. fuck Why you. Don't you come in here, Nick. take my pants off, Nick. and kiss my ass. Oh shit. You gotta say now. Oh, oh my god. Here's a guy. It's guy. like the it's wire. Like... It's like the wire. Jess watches the wire. I'm watching the wire right now. No spoilers, Jess. Don't use guns. Stop it. Just stop it. Just get down. We're sorry. Take the spot. Just sorry. be submissive. Sorry about this guy. But you don't apologize. He's overreacting. I'm overreacting. You out crazy the man with a gun. Have a good day. See, it worked. You can also call the police you on him. See the threatening worst in people. I mean, technically, he didn't point the gun at you, so I don't know. You don't understand. I've been getting a lot of mixed signals from my boss lately. What is wrong with you? The world is not out to seduce you. Why not? It's all in your head, man. It's always in your head. Non-fat vanilla latte. We're not talking about coffee, are we? <laughs> I have a package for Schmidt. Sir, I'm very flattered, but I must decline. He said he had a package for Schmidt. I mean, not everyone's out to get you. He had a gun, Jess. He was literally out to get me. No, uh, well, he's not positive. His life is genuinely terrible. You know what, Jess? I Jesus. guess I don't live in a world where I smile and people do what I want them to do. You never smile. <laughs> no! All right, everybody relax. Are you gonna fancy fix this or what are you? Get out! It's fixed. Okay, Nick, I'm calling the landlord. This is mm -mm. ridiculous. Don't call the landlord. He's a terrible he person. Sucks. Don't call the landlord. I'm serious. Okay. Don't say the worst in people. Hey, Kim, where should I put this budget report? It's right there on my desk. So. Schmidt, my files need sorting. Do it here so I can watch. Okay. So you want me to sort your sort. files? Files. What are we watching? Porn? What are you doing? <laughs> wow. 
cupcakes would be, oh my God, this is scary. Knock knock, Mr. Landlord. Cool office. I live here. So I live in- Are you hunting vampires or? There are a lot of real safety hazards in our loft. Nothing a little landlord couldn't fix. What do you say? No. Why? Okay, you know what? Um, my roommates are really scared of you, but I know you're a good man, and I know you don't want the four of us. It's like I'm not a good four of you. There's only supposed to be three people. Really, Jess? You know what? I was counting myself twice. Big personality over here. I've got a fun exercise. I'd like everybody to take a moment and think back to a time when they did something stupid, how they were treated, and how they wish they were. Treated. <laughs> what did you do, Jess? Oh, boy. This is what we train for, guys. Go. All the way, all the way, all the way. Be careful with the debate. Oh, no, please. Man. Just close those up. Uh, there goes the chinos. Oh. Brad, coach. Good God, what is this? Why would you do this? Fun. I suggest you paint it, and you paint it fast. Have fun, buddy. Four people's fine. Just paint over the sex wall, and don't bother me anymore. What? I just want to apologize on behalf of all of us for lying to you about how many people live here. Stop reminding him. But while you're up here, might as well just fix a few things. Like? Please, Remy. How'd you know my name? They call you? They? I saw your tattoo that says, hello, my name is Remy. Look, I know you're a good guy. Okay, what do you, what do you want fixed? Why don't you close your eyes and point at something? Her, not you. Schmidt? Yeah. I need you to clean up my hard drive. <laughs> All right, give it a shot. Great. What is this? Oh. Here, I'll help. Use your hips. Come on. Okay. Oh, oh, that's good. Oh, that's okay. okay. That'll do it. Hey, Jess, can I talk to you for a minute alone? That man wants to sleep with you. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. He was just showing me how to close Okay, anytime a man shows a woman how to do something from behind, it's just an excuse for him to get really close and breathe on her neck. That is not a thing. You mind picking up that mug? Oh, no, you're doing it all wrong. Here, let me show you. <laughs> so the way to pick up a mug is like that. You just gotta relax into it. He wasn't doing that. That's exactly what he was doing. You always see the worst in people. Yeah, because people are the worst. That's true. <laughs> so people can be good. You just have to give them a chance to show you. You like candy? I sure do. Great. My Nana made way too much. I'm working up an appetite in there. Boy, I hope you don't mind the smell of a real man in your room. Let me know when you want to get started on that bed. Okay. Get started on the bed? He's turning my mattress. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, come on. Don't you ever wear jeans? Honestly, <laughs> you look like you should be distracting James Bond at a baccarat table. Jess loaned me her seasickness bracelets. Going to a party on Greg Kinnear's boat. You're going to a party on Neptune's Folly? Yeah, relax. He's not going to be there. I know he's in Rio to the 16th. Can I talk to you as a... as a woman? Okay. All right, Schmidt. Okay, my mm. boss and I, we're running a pre-sex marathon right now, and I feel like we're stuck in mile 25. I'm cramping, Cece. It's like I can see the finish line, but I just can't get there. I need to put one of these on right now. The problem <laughs> is, is we don't talk. I don't know what she's thinking. Should I make a move or not? Stop asking permission and go get it. There's nothing less sexy than a dude asking if he can kiss you. Nothing. I mean, what if I ate my own hair and pooped out a wig? What? That's <laughs> the funniest thing just happened. I was watching Remy fix the sink, and I got totally soaked. You were so wet. Man overboard. Remy brought a bottle of this. I ferment things in the basement. You're not drinking that, Jess. Yes, I am. Remy made it. My ah. God, my God. How hard could it be to just open yourself up a little bit? Dip your toe in the pool of possibility. She gonna be like, piss ass drunk. You guys have a lot in common. Nick went through a breakup last year that was really hard on him. Thanks. Hmm. <laughs> Weird. Wait. I want you now. Finally. Eek. Oh, no, no, no. She wanted me to. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, Debo, why can't you just admit that you were wrong? How have you lived this long on your own? There's no part of that man that wants to sleep with me. He's been creeping on you all night. No. Um, is he just going to say time for sex or something? Oh. <laughs> hey, Remy, what happened to your pants? I've never done a threesome. That's what we're doing here, right? This I did not expect. <laughs> might have been a little bit off about Remy, but people are generally good, and I am not wrong about that. Because people are jerks. You would seriously have a threesome with that man just to get me to admit that I'm wrong. Oh, I think we could do a lot worse than Remy. He's got strong arms. <laughs> Let's have a threesome. All right. They're kind of fun. <laughs> just right, don't think so about right. it. If this is happening with this guy. This is happening right now, Jess. Yeah. So it's going to get even a little more uncomfortable. Try to negotiate your rent or something. <laughs> Say it's over, it's over. <laughs> and then I'm going to start unbuttoning your pants. And then I'm going to unbutton my shirt. Why is he going for Nick first? <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. You're going to be the captain tonight. You two get us started. Me and Jess get it started. Oh, right. shit. Still. Getting it started. Yeah. Nick, I will do this. Say that you're wrong and it's over. I'm not wrong. Let's do it. I can Jess. do it. No, okay, fine. <laughs> I'm wrong. Yes. I'm sorry, Remy. Whoa, what is going on in here? All right, I am not ready for a four way. I'm out of this. Damn. Hey, Ken. Oh, God. Look, I just wanted to apologize for yesterday. I hope you Stop get resisting. Control. Look. Kim, this wasn't your standard 2 a.m. mistaken assault in the parking garage. Hey. Go into the conference room and dial me into the Tokyo call. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's not what you think. Oh, man. You're about to be spread eagle in front of, like, everybody. Why would you do this? Great. <laughs> okay, guys. So that was New Girl Season 1, Episode 12, titled The Landlord. That was a pretty good episode. I mean, there was a lot of, like, just cringy moments, which I really do love. I do like watching comedies like this for those type of moments, just because when a show is so well written, and these characters are so relatable, and you, and you just kind of watch them do things that you can kind of see yourself doing or you've seen other people do it just it it, it kind of pulls you in it, it sucks you into the narrative and i got secondhand cringe when this guy the landlord came up behind nick and was like oh trying to get things started i'm just like oh god the cringe was so bad um but it, it was cool seeing where, where the story was going, especially since, you know, Jess is always kind of like aloof when, when um, guys like try to hit on her, or, you know, show any sort of interest in her. I mean, she's hot. She's very attractive. She's um, smart. She's supposed to be like, you know, a teacher. You know, she's very motivated. She's driven. She's goofy. She's motivated. She's just an all around really awesome person to hang around with. So naturally she just has that kind of like charisma and like personality that kind of draws people in. She's the one that kind of like steals the spotlight when she enters the room. Cause she's just so peppy, you know, I guess for the lack of a better word. Um, so when she kind of made a visit to the landlord, it kind of brought the spotlight onto the, 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 the guys in 4d that's their apartment Apparently, there's some sort of rule or whatever saying that there can't be more than three people living in that apartment, but there's clearly, like, a room for everybody, so that's kind of weird. It was probably just a way or an excuse to have him go up and kind of just see what's going on there. It, it was just kind of weird because without that scene of him coming up and saying, oh, we're, you know, trying to hide Smith, and then he's like, huh, you know, everything's fine here. You can have floor for just Just paint over the sex wall. I mean, it feels like if we got rid of that scene, 
then maybe we wouldn't have a way for Winston to uncover that note, and therefore we wouldn't have a way for that note to kind of come back into play when Schmidt was trying to, you know, bang the CFO or whatever. So there, there is some connective tissue between the two stories. It just felt like the two stories were kind of like... Um, they didn't really fit in with each other. I think that's just... From my opinion, I, I just I, I probably would have just wanted more of the landlord stuff, to be honest. Like, I get Schmidt being Schmidt at work and his CFO is, is hot and there's like a lot of sexual harassment or sexual chemistry going on there. A lot of sexual subtext there, you know, so I get that. But it just feels like we, we didn't really go enough with that to kind of um, make that story worthwhile. I mean, is, is, is something going to come out of that? I just would have preferred more of the cringiness with Jess and Nick and the landlord and Jess trying to, you know, uh, not trying to admit that she was wrong and, and, real, and, and try to hammer the point home that men or people are good and Nick being, you know, the, the pessimistic asshole is like, you know, this guy wants to sleep with you. It was just, it made for some good scenes. The, the cringe was really good. Um, I can't really... Uh, and once again, CC was relegated to basically a footnote. But I, I want to see more of her. I want to see more of, of Jess. We didn't see any Julia in this episode, so that was interesting. Um, I don't really know what else to say other than I feel like they need to do a little bit more with CC, a little bit more with Winston. But the 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 cringe, the comedy, I was laughing out loud. It, it was a good episode. Nonetheless, you know, good shit, good stuff. And I think I'm just scanning it there, guys. All right. If you guys enjoyed my review, enjoyed my reaction, guys, want to see this episode with me in its entirety, the option is available to you right now over on Patreon. Links are in the description down below or pinned in the top comment. If you can't support me on Patreon, you can always support me right here on YouTube. All you got to do is like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to get out of here now. I'll catch you guys next time in the next episode of New Girl Season 1, Episode 13. Until then, adios, guys. And if you liked what you saw, tell your friends, tell your family, tweet about it. And if you didn't like it, shut the fuck up.